When you think of bleachers on Bay Street, your mind goes directly to Junkanoo, right? Well, not so for taxi drivers, some of whom would tell you that's not a good sign for business. You see, when the bleachers go up, many of them in prime taxi cab parking slots on Bay Street, revenue takes a nosedive. In fact, Bahamas Taxi Cab Union President Leon Griffin says countless governments have never even asked the union how the situation could be improved. If they had called us and said, well, okay, um, what do we do with this regard? Can we, can we uh, um, um, just put a portion of it over here and then allow you guys to park and then uh, a day or two before then we would put direct you know put them directly where they ought to be uh, I, I can see the ministry saying something like that but the ministry uh, they're so brazen they did nothing about it they said nothing about it and as far as they're concerned what they're saying to the union is well so accept what we do Okay, and that's not the way things should be. If you want harmony in this country, then you must do things in decency and order. Okay. Now, we also caught up with several taxi drivers in the downtown area who all agree that the government needs to come up with a better system for erecting the bleachers. Well, it really affecting our business very because we have a few taxis only work from Bay Street. They don't work from George Wharf. So parking for them, they don't have no way to park now. So it's affecting their business very, very badly. It is tremendously unconsiderate of our leaders and authoritative persons who do this year after year and have no vision, again, for the people who operate one of the most finest business in this country. Our bread and butter, tourism, taxi cab driver, the grassroots men and women of our country do not have anywhere to park their vehicles applying for job now. It's affected us a lot, but one of the problems we have here in the morning time, before we the gate will open at 4:30. Now they move it, I think, at 5:30. Um, you'd be obstructing traffic on Wood Rogers Wharf, and the authority here in this port area, um, they were playing games with taxi drivers. To that, Minister of Culture Charles Maynard said this. Um, this year, we've, we've had a schedule that we thought was very flexible to enable the last set of bleachers to go down tomorrow, which is the day um, before the day of Junior Junkanoo, and would able to allow the, the more time for um, the, the streets of Bay Street to be clear because we understand this is the busy season not only for taxi drivers, but for the shop owners and, and, and many others who use this time here to make money. And so we've tried to be as accommodating as possible to ensure that we could accommodate the, the parade as well as accommodate them. And, and The minister added that works officials have to put the bleachers up in time to be inspected for safety reasons. For JCN News, I'm Sasha Lightbourne.